Nearly 10 years after Volkswagen's diesel scandal, the VW TDI is still the top contender for those seeking fuel efficiency, reliability, and driving enjoyment. While hybrids may hog the spotlight for their impressive MPG ratings, the TDI offers a more fun alternative. It combines high fuel efficiency with a spirited driving experience, proving that you don't have to sacrifice enjoyment for savings. Today, I'll explore why this unassuming diesel is the ideal choice for anyone who values efficiency without the compromise of hybrids. With regular unleaded sitting at 350 a gallon as of writing this, do you settle for a soulless hybrid that excels in city traffic but leaves you yawning each time you get behind the wheel, or do you opt for a turbocharged diesel that was engineered to conquer the Autobahn? Now when I say conquer the Autobahn, I'm not talking about playing cat and mouse with an M5. I'm talking about a car that's designed to cruise at high speeds all day long. Real world driving with a TDI is like stepping into a parallel universe where fuel gauges move slower. The EPA's tests don't do manual transmissions or diesel engines justice. I've seen 56 mpg on a good day and regularly hit 50 without even trying. It's the kind of efficiency that makes you question why typical econo boxes and hybrids even exist. EPA tests for gas cars often use non-ethanol 93 octane fuel, which burns cleaner and yields higher MPG. Most drivers fill up with ethanol laden 87, resulting in up to a 5% MPG loss. That sticker boasting 45 MPG? Good luck achieving that with regular fuel. And yes, even in cars that are designed to run on regular 87, they do this trick. It's a bit sneaky and leaves regular drivers scratching their heads, wondering why their mileage doesn't match the hype. Let's not forget about winter. When the temperatures drop, most gas engines feel the strain, but the TDI takes it in stride. Winter blend gasoline, that's a 10 to 15% MPG penalty. Diesel is closer to 4% with the winter blend. In other words, the gap between the TDI and your typical gasser widens when it's cold out. In hybrids, they're out in the cold. Literally. On top of winter blend gas, battery efficiency tanks, and suddenly, that fuel sipping darling is guzzling gas. Not so with the TDI. It keeps chucking along, giving you nearly the same stellar performance year round. Let's talk tires. Hybrids tend to come equipped with skinny, low rolling resistance tires to squeeze out every last drop of efficiency, because the tire that it's sold on is the one that the EPA tests with. But here's the trade off. Those skinny tires severely reduce grip, handling, and braking performance. They might get you a few more MPGs on paper, but at what cost? Try taking a sharp corner or making an emergency stop and you'll feel the compromise. It's like wearing dress shoes to a marathon. They get the job done, but they're not exactly confidence inspiring when the pace picks up. Now contrast that with my TDI, which rolls on 225, 45, 17 tires. Sure, they're nothing compared to some performance cars, but for an econo box, they're substantial. Tires are the number one safety item on a car. When it comes down to it, that's what connects you to the road and allows you to make last minute defensive maneuvers and stop when needed. Let's talk interiors, because if you're spending hours behind the wheel, comfort matters. The TDI's cabin isn't built for economy, it's built for the long haul. It's quiet, well insulated and solid, with materials that feel durable even after a decade of use. Everything's laid out logically, the seats are supportive, and you don't get that tinny, cheap feeling that haunts cars like the Prius from the same era. I mean, I'll give you one example. To stop this armrest thing rattling, they've used sort of adhesive foam lubber tabs. Sit in a Prius for five minutes, and you'll be cringing at the hard plastics and rattles. It's like they made the interior out of recycled Tupperware. In the TDI, it feels like a proper car. You don't have to sacrifice comfort or quality just because you want efficiency. When you're on a road trip or your daily commute, having a cabin that doesn't remind you of a budget rental is everything. But let's get down to brass tacks. Sure, diesel costs a bit more at the pump, but when you compare it to what's out there, the TDI still comes out on top. Let's do the math. If you're filling up on diesel for 380 a gallon and you're getting an average of 52 mpg, your cost per mile is just about 7.31 cents. Now, let's say you're driving a typical hybrid that boasts a competitive 45 mpg, and we'll assume you actually get that. 
With 87 at 350 a gallon, you're looking at roughly 7.78 cents per mile. Even though diesel might seem like a higher upfront cost, the TDI's incredible efficiency flips the script on fuel expenses. And since we're talking about hybrids, we have to talk about CVTs. Look, I'm a manual transmission guy. In my book, the hierarchy goes manual, dual clutch, torque converter auto, and somewhere in the basement, CVTs. Sure, CVTs might save you a few bucks at the pump, but they're about as fun to drive as a toaster. And let's not ignore the maintenance costs and potential for costly repairs or full replacement down the road. Hybrids and CVTs, they're logical at best in the city. They're designed for specific conditions, but at what cost? The TDI, on the other hand, doesn't compromise. It's efficient, engaging, and built for those who love the drive as much as they do the destination. When was the last time you drove a hybrid and felt excited? They're efficient, sure, but they often lack that something. The soul. The connection to the road. The TDI, it's all about that connection. The steering communicates, the car responds, and the torque is there when you need it. It's a relationship, not a transaction. And here's the kicker. My TDI is pushing 200,000 miles and it still drives like a dream. No major issues, just routine maintenance. Compare that to hybrids where aging batteries and complex systems can turn your simple commuter into a pile of burning cash. Hybrids also have another hidden cost, complexity. With the TDI, you're getting a compression ignition system that's refreshingly simple. No spark plugs, no ignition coils, no hybrid battery pack to worry about replacing down the line. Diesel engines are built for durability, and the TDI is no exception. You won't find yourself sweating over battery replacements or costly CVT repairs. It's a simpler, smarter investment. When you think of diesel engines, durability is the name of the game, and the TDI is no exception. These engines are crafted to handle high torque and long distance journeys, which is why they dominate heavy duty trucks and commercial vehicles. The TDI distills that legendary reliability into a compact package, proving it can tackle the open highway just as comfortably as it weaves through city traffic. But it doesn't stop at just the engine. The optional manual transmission in the TDI is a testament to simplicity and effectiveness, far less likely to fail than the convoluted automatic and CVT options cluttering today's market. Say goodbye to the anxiety of hybrid battery replacements or costly CVT repairs lurking around the corner. With a TDI, you're in solid territory. On that topic, let's talk depreciation, usually the dirty word in car ownership. But here's the thing, TDIs laugh in the face of it. While most cars lose value faster than a smartphone after a new model drops, TDIs play a different game. Their resale value isn't just strong, it's a power move. Why? Because these cars have a reputation, durability, efficiency, and the ability to rack up miles like a marathoner without missing a beat. Even with nearly 200,000 miles on the clock, a well-kept TDI can still command top dollar. And let's not forget, these cars have a bit of a cult following. Enthusiasts know just how good they are, and they're willing to pay for that. So why settle for a car that's just a temporary fling? With the TDI, you're investing in a car that's built for the long haul. It's not just about saving a few bucks on fuel, it's about getting more out of every drive year after year. A decade after Dieselgate, the Volkswagen TDI is still proving why it's a better option than hybrids for anyone who values efficiency, longevity, and the joy of driving. Forget the complexities of hybrid systems, the compromises of low rolling resistance tires and the dull driving experiences. If you're looking for a car that crushes hybrids on every level, the TDI is it.